what's up YouTube so I'm just gonna change the connector on these coil on plugs it's not that difficult you just need um, a small screwdriver or a, a pick now once you have those I went ahead and I ordered a new connector but I ordered two different styles and I'll show the other style in a second but at this point you want to take pictures of how the wires are and the order they're in and these are broken I changed the coil but once I went to hit the tab to unlock it which if you look if you hit the tab right here you see that open that's what unlocks it so these broke see I just pull it off and if I put it on like so with the new one you hear it snap if I press I have to press to get it off and it comes off disassemble it which is you're gonna get like a screwdriver or something you're gonna stick it in here you're gonna pull pry this white tab up take that off now these OEMs well all these connectors anyway they're so brittle the heat the change in temperature after a few years the plastic just crack so I'm gonna show how this one looks and if you look here it's already broken just by me unplugging it but I'm glad it broke like that that way I could get to show exactly how it's set up on the inside and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the each pin I'm gonna pull the wire out and I'm gonna put it in the new connector so if we look here you see where this section is broken that's fine this is the old one but you want to get something like a pick or something very skinny even a thumbtack or a paper clip and this little tab right here this little black tab one here one here that's what holds the connector in the pin in so once you release this tab once you put something behind it and you could see it moved I flicked it up like that so once you get something in here and push pushing on it it's gonna release that hook that holds it then you're gonna hold the wire that you're releasing and pull the wire I'm gonna push on it just to release it and then pull the wire and you see the pin comes right out now what I suggest from here while you do that you wanna always make sure your connector works make sure you plug it in make sure it fits before you go ahead and start disassembling the old one and you want to line it up so you see this is exactly how it goes so now I took this one out so from here exact same I'm going to come in on this side and I'm gonna plug it in this one And want to make sure we look at it make sure we have the orientation right so you see how it looks you see on this one it's the same and push it in until there's a snap you might not hear a loud snap but you'll know when it's in like I'm pulling on it it's not coming out and you can see it's right here so lining up the plugs see that's the new one and this is where I removed it from the old one so I do the same for the second one and just to show you I could use a screwdriver also get in there and pull and then just transfer this is the second one transfer that you hear
hear that snap and that's it so sometimes you'll hear a snap sometimes you won't but once you pull on the wire you'll know that it's in and I'll just keep doing this for the other two now you want to do one at a time and take pictures of it so there's no confusion see both are coming out but I'll just take one and I know this one goes here hear that snap it's in this one was already loose so I'll take that last one and I'll snap that in so now all of them are in so now we have a brand new connector from here there's a, a rubber piece that goes in it helps to seal out uh, moisture and if you look on the old one you can see see it here depending on the kit that you order this comes in the kit if it doesn't just remove your old one and and put it on the on the new connector and my new connector actually came with it I thought it didn't but um when I test fit it on the coil it actually came off and got stuck in the coil so I just put that back on then this piece this white piece here and the way you put this on this opening right here or this groove you're gonna line up this section with this groove these little notches right here that's what goes in and secure the clip that I had to release to pull the wires out so I line this up it lined up snap it in and that's that and if you want to be extra certain just unplug one of the other coils and make sure you compare everything and we just plug it up you hear that snap now it's not going anywhere if we have to disconnect it unplug Plug it in, disconnect it. And that's it, brand new. So now I just have to do this to, uh, what is it, uh, five more. Hopefully this helps someone. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now hopefully this could help someone and um, I'll actually show the other setup. I ordered two. And I actually ordered two sets of wires. And I actually ordered two sets of wires. So. And I actually ordered two sets. So this is one style connector. It's the same exact connector. It's just that it has like a six inch wire on it. So if you had to cut these, you do the same thing. You line it up, make sure you plug it in, make sure it snaps in right. And then you connect each wire how it is. So you would line it up like so you connect this wire to this one and so forth and you cut it strip it you cut this one to the length you want you strip it I would I would actually twist them together and um, and solder it but if you don't have the room for that the kit comes with a connector and once you strip this end you slide it in and it goes in about 
halfway like so you crimp that end with a crimping tool I wouldn't suggest using a side cutters or any regular pliers just get a buy a cheap crimping plier and use that and when you strip this end you slide it in and you put it together and you do the same thing after you're done these are normally shrink tubes so once you connect your wires you could put heat to it and what it'll do it'll shrink this around the um, the wire for further insulation and that's why I say use a crimping tool and not just any regular plier because if you cut this it's not the end of the world but if you cut it then you're allowing access for moisture or water to get in but if you use the right tool it won't cut it it'll just crimp it just right and then you could shrink it with some heat and you get a full connection that's another way of doing it and also just a quick um, side note if you cannot get just the uh, connector by itself like this without the wires or if you're not sure if you could uh, remove your wires and add it to the new connector you could get this one with the same one I just showed with the wires and if you don't splice it and you realize that you could do how I did it you could actually just do the same thing with this disassemble it which is you're gonna get like a screwdriver or something you're gonna stick it in here you're gonna pull pry this white tab up take that off then you're gonna go in there the same way I did with the old connector with your flathead um, anything that's skinny enough to get in there to open that tab and you unplug your wires and you do that you take all the wires out and once you're done you're gonna end up with with this same exact thing you're just taking the wires out and then you could do the same thing so this would probably be the better way to go that way you know you have two options instead of ordering two different things hopefully all this helps someone thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe